Hi everyone, coming to the last uh, security mechanism that is a cloud security mechanism is SSO, single sign on. So what is this single sign on mechanism? Where we use this single sign on mechanism? The SSO mechanism enables one cloud service consumer. It enables the one cloud service consumer to be authenticated. Okay, one cloud service one cloud service consumer was there. This one cloud, uh, consu uh, cloud service consumer to be authenticated by a security broker. So with the help of the security broker, security broker, this information will be authenticated. So which establish a security context that is persisted while the cloud service consumer access other cloud service or cloud based IT resources. So if this one cloud services want to access the another cloud services. So whatever the different cloud services that are present. He has to be authenticated with a security broker. So in this single sign on uh, security mechanism there is a concept for se as security broker. So with the help of the security broker, each cloud services will be established a security context. So that is persisted while the cloud service consumer access the other cloud services or cloud based IT resources. Otherwise, the cloud service consumers would need to re-authenticate itself whenever subsequent request. So every time they, they need to re-authenticate it. So, the SSO mechanism, the single sign on mechanism essentially enables mutually independent cloud services. So these are all the mutually independent cloud services. Okay, different cloud services, each are independent. So this SSO mechanism essentially enables mutually independent cloud services and IT resources to generate and circulate runtime authentication and authorize it, authorization credential. So the main use of SSO mechanism is to generate and circulate runtime authentication and authorization credentials to each cloud consumers. Okay, so every time they need, they no, uh, they need no need to re-authenticate the uh, cloud. So this with the help of SSO mechanism, they are going to generate and circulate the runtime authentication and authorization credentials. So let's see the example for this. So here is a cloud service consumer providers, the security broker with login credential. So let's take this is a cloud service consumer. So let us take you are the cloud service consumer. I, I want to access any email. I want to log in into my mail account. So there are different cloud services will be there. The Amazon will be there. Microsoft will be there. Google. So different uh, cloud service providers are there. So first what I am doing. The cloud service consumer sending uh, with the help of the security broker. Some security credential will be uh, whatever the data that login is having some it is having some security credentials. So with the that data has to be security credentials and security broker services will send the data to the cloud service consumer. And these are the different uh, cloud services will be present. So here the security broker responds with an authentication. The security broker is going to respond with an authentication token upon successful authentication which contains cloud service consumer identity information. So whereas this uh, here the this is used to automatically authenticate the cloud service consumer across the cloud services A, B, C. So this is just showing how the cloud service consumers provide the security broker with login credential. So once this person is login with uh, login with some credentials by using the security broker. So next time he can directly access the cloud services without authentication because with the help of SSO mechanism automatically the runtime applications will be developed. So that is they are saying it generate and circulate runtime authentication and authorization uh, credential. So there is no need to uh, re-authenticate itself every time. Okay. So here is an another example. 
the credential received by the security broker or propagated to ready-made environment across two different clouds so suppose let's take there are two different clouds each cloud is having the ready-made environment a and b they are having the data and here this is having the data okay so this uh, whatever the data that has to be accessed everything will be encrypted okay the security broker is responsible for selecting the appropriate security procedure with which to contact each cloud so here the security broker is going to decide which uh, with the help of which cloud services i can access the data he is the person who is accessing the data deciding the appropriate security procedures okay so this is a cloud resource administrator which is sending the uh, encrypted data with the help of the security broker services he can access any of the cloud ready-made environment a and the ready-made environment b so by selecting any one of this uh, cloud he can put the data on that cloud so this is about sso mechanism thank you